My name is Lynn Walls. Uh, I've recently put up some videos on YouTube showing uh, uh, my virtual theater organ and someone sent me a message and asked could I explain a little bit about how I activate pistons and and how the stop, stops uh, flip on and off on the on the J organ console so I thought I'd just explain a few of those things here on the video and post this video up, up here too. What you see here is the uh, J organ uh, console screen with all the stop tabs and pistons and various uh, controls for J organ. J organ is a, 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 essentially a software relay uh, to map between the, the uh, MIDI keyboards and pedal board and a sound rendering uh, module or program like Fluid Synth or the Sound Blaster card, uh, sound card in your computer or an external sound synthesizer uh, such as uh, say a Roland uh, uh, a Roland uh, sound canvas device of some sort and uh, it basically just makes all the connections between the keyboard and the stops being selected to play which are just audio samples and the uh, sound renderer. Now in this VTPO, Virtual Theater Pipe Organ, uh, the sound rendering software is uh, Giga Sampler Orchestra, GSO version 3 or GSO 3 is, uh, as I'll probably call it throughout this little explanation. And uh, over here is the keyboards. It's a, a stack of essentially three MIDI keyboards. And I don't know whether we can see down here. I mean, the, the bench is in the way, but there's a 25 note uh, MIDIized pedal board. It came from a Hammond organ with, and it has a magnetically activated uh, reed switches to make the contacts and those switches go into uh, Jordan Petkov's one of his earliest uh, MIDI encode. Another uh, piece of hardware of interest is this uh, keypad which emulates a, a regular computer keyboard. It, has a USB cable and it connects into a USB port and to the computer it appears to be exactly like the kind of uh, keyboard that you would actually type on. They, and in fact uh, it, the computer can't tell the difference when you're using these but the buttons on this it cannot tell the difference between that and typing on a regular keyboard. So the way you set this device up is uh, there's a configurator program and you can set any one of these 58 buttons to uh, emulate any keystrokes. So you can make uh, one of these buttons type in the word cat or dog or uh, my name carriage return or backspace or any sequence of keystrokes. Now J organ typically only takes one character for its shortcuts so most of these keys have been programmed to generate the one character that these piston designations on my J organ uh, panel represent. So I press that button and it essentially will activate the piston. These are not individual stop controlling buttons but rather uh, momentary contact type buttons like pistons and, and some of the trap sounds. Uh, act, I can use that to activate those on the uh, on J. Another uh, item of interest is this top MIDI keyboard, uh, which is a uh, uh, who manufactured? I forget now. It might be a Behringer, also UMX sixty one. It has some MIDI controls, like MIDI continuous controller controls, on the top of the keyboard in the form of knobs and push buttons 
and more knobs. Now all those knobs can be generate a continuous a MIDI continuous controller message of some sort and those can be learned or trapped and configured into the J organ uh, disposition such that they can actually control things within J organ or in GSO3 for that matter uh, as though just like the the uh, swell the swell pedal or the crescendo pedal can be made to Okay, now maybe I can demonstrate what some of these buttons do. Uh, on the J organ uh, panel itself, and this is a touch screen, this is a Magic Touch Key Tech touch screen uh, that is touch, touch seven. it's an overlay on a regular LCD type uh, monitor. When I touch a stop, you'll see it come on, and you also see the little mouse hand go over it because this touch screen emulates a a normal mouse. It goes into the, a USB port and uh, uh, the driver for it allows anything I touch on here. If I touch right here in this brown space you'll see there's the mouse arrow. If I, I hope it shows up maybe. Okay, I don't know whether you see the mouse, uh, but if I touch one of these stops you'll see it come on. If I hit a bunch of them they'll come on or down or get longer. Uh, the noise you hear in the background there is the cat trying to open the uh, Venetian blind window because it's sunny out. Uh, but anyway, and I've got a can general cancel which will turn everything off. Mm -hmm. And you hear that sound in the back, that's the, the thunk sound of, uh, of a pneumatic uh, piston combination action that's been recorded as a sample. So when I press any one of these mm -hmm. piston, you see, all the uh, stops came on for the, that are programmed for that piston. Hit another one, different ones come on. Hit another one. Okay, in the upper right hand um, corner of this uh, J organ console screen, you see a, a what looks like a swell controller labeled noise level. And with my finger, I, get, I can raise it. And when I raise it, it sounds like this. Uh, piston thunk that's tied to each of the pistons here is much louder. So I usually keep this down fairly low. And, uh, it just adds a little bit of uh, ambiance to the, uh, the whole thing, not necessary. But as I press one of these pistons, for example, you see it turns the stops on. I should also point out is that these these uh, the buttons on this keypad do the same thing. You notice the stops change on the display. A little bit of delay while the, everything flows through the system, but you hear the thunk right away from pressing the button, and the stops actually engage at that same time. I, the display is a little sluggish because of the way Windows. Uh, renders all the changes that have occurred on a screen that's really not actively being uh, typed on. But anyway, uh, about it.